opening stages of Heat 2. Perfect chance for us to catch up with the teams. We're about to go into regroup and then service. We can speak to them now. Eli Evans, you're leading the charge and you're just having a big chat to your team about tyres. What have you decided to do there? Yeah, look, today's pretty important for us. So, um, you know, if we get through cleanly, we'll win the championship. So we've decided that we'll throw whatever new tyres we've got at it. Um, and we think mathematically we'll have two tyres left for tomorrow. But um, we should have some pretty good second-hand ones. But, uh, you know, tomorrow doesn't matter. It's all about today at the moment. So new tyres all around. And we'll go in the uh, shy stages where it gets really fast and pretty serious out there. Um, we chatted about it at the beginning of the weekend. Um, you're almost learning tyre strategy for the first time in these conditions because South Australia has always traditionally been wet, it's muddy, don't really worry about tyre wear necessarily. Um, you're learning this event almost for the first time. It's like being here the first time in regards to tyres. Yeah, that's exactly right. We know Crawford Forest is quite a hard and abrasive surface, um, but we haven't experienced it in 25 degrees. So, um, yeah, we're getting out of a set of not 900 mediums I'm put it throwing on the car, we're getting about 25k out of them and they're almost gone. So, um, in winter, you wouldn't get that sort of tyre wear. So it is, you know, it's all data. We write down what it's like at this time of the year and we learn from it. The times weren't quite there as we were hoping. We tried some new things. We tried a bit of a different tyre combination. Uh, didn't work on the first stage. I think on the second stage it was it was probably better. We, we've still got that missing issue uh, with the engine, like mid revs. So uh, being the mechanic that I am, I've got no idea what to do about that. So uh, that's Molly's department and the boys. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Look, we're close. It's still there and we're looking forward to the Shire roads this afternoon. In some ways, you're not just banking on the, the, what you've done for the rest of the year. You are actually trying some different things, which is good because you're trying to find the pace and not just going, well, let's just try and finish and hopefully Eli has a problem. You're just genuinely trying to find pace with things like this tyre combination and stuff like that. Oh, for sure. I think Molly's a racer. She wants to win stages. It's as simple as that. The championship's one thing, but if you can't win stages, you can't win rallies. If you can't win rallies, you don't win the championship. So, uh, tough road ahead for the afternoon, you think? fast road ahead for the afternoon. That's These next three stages are traditional shire roads. They're actually quite quick, aren't they? That's a word for it. Unbelievably fast. Yeah, like the fastest roads in Australia by far. And uh, the biggest white gums on the edge of them you've ever seen. Stephen, uh, strong start to the day, mate. It was well done. Yeah, we've been uh, pushing. Um, I said to Brent at the end of the last stage, I don't think I can drive any harder without wrecking the car. So um, Eli's still uh, putting in the good times um, and Molly's right there with us. So it's a really good battle at the moment. That's a mature comment, though, because you're now knowing what the limits of this car are. Sometimes in the past you probably would have chased that and gone, oh, geez, the car's now damaged because of it. You now know this is about our limit and we'll run at that. And you are still close enough to put pressure on that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've got one more pass of that Crawford stage tomorrow, I believe. So if we do need to find another five or ten seconds, I reckon there is that in there. But the car might suffer. <laughs> um, so we might leave that till tomorrow and see where we are. Um, but, yeah, going into some shy stages, Savo, uh, we uh, definitely will be pushing. Mate, I saw the smile come back after stage one, and you're telling me stacking forth the same corner. Yep. Uh, what's all going on with that? Oh, I've got no idea. It's like 10 kilometres into that 20-something kilometre stage. Coming down the hill to the exactly the same corner, I thought, oh, come up, hydraulic pressure low, and I thought, oh, no, here we go again. Um, stuck it, and it happened to be fourth gear because it, it was the same corner I was in. Um, did the rest of the stage in fourth, and we were not that slow. Surprisingly. Well, well, that's the whole thing. You didn't drop that much time, and you were just saying to me uh, before that you'd love to see the splits. You, you're obviously going well in that stage. You just can't get the car to, to run with you. Yeah, I reckon we nailed it up to the point where it, where it let us down. We were on it. The, 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 there's lots of grip. The car, I softened it up a bit, and it's actually got a bit more grip now. It's more comfortable to drive fast. And the biggest problem now is we're in fourth gear in corners. You should be in third or second, and you start running out of road, and you've got nothing to help you out of trouble, and I'm just worried about these next stages. You know, there's big trees on the side of the road. It could be really, really hurtful if you uh, get caught out.